On March the 14th at 1.58 p.m. I was sat exactly here opposite a famous professor of mathematics just seconds away from launching an online public engagement event to over 2,000 people in 17 different countries. Now, it was at that moment that I realised I designed a format which combined all of the risks associated with a live television broadcast and all of the challenges of online interactivity. I reflected that nobody would really asked me to come up with this approach. It was, in the best and the worst possible way, my idea. My name's David White and I help to run a unit based here at the University of Oxford called Technology Assisted Lifelong Learning. This is a story about my experience of running an online public engagement event. It's a little past 1.59 on the 14th of March. Uh, happy Pi Day! With Professor Marcus de Soto in front of the camera, we kicked off Pi Day Live. An energetic event that used online platforms like Google Hangouts to bring people together to explore the number Pi. There was a real buzz about the event, and as soon as we started to see tweets coming in from schools that had our Pi Day page up on screens in their classrooms, I knew we were going to be okay. The point of the Oxford Connect format was to make sure that people who turned up were actively involved. To do this, we asked them to derive pi for themselves using one of a number of traditional methods. So you might end up counting marbles or throwing matchsticks onto lined paper. We crowdsourced the results and got, well, we got closer to pi than Aristotle. We learnt a lot from this project. How to manage the relationship between physical world and online events, how to use social media to promote activity and to help participants feel included rather than just talked at. We also learned that there's only so much anyone can concentrate on at any one moment. Basically, we threw a lot at people during Pi Day. I've surprised myself about how much I care about this. That's why with the help of the team at Tall and NetSkills, I put so much work into Pi Day Live. In my opinion, there isn't any excuse not to get on with this stuff now we have the web. The public, whoever they may be, spend a lot of time online, and that's a great place to communicate some of the amazing stuff that universities get up to. After we finished the broadcast, it was great to wind down by eating the Pi Day apple pie we'd used as a prop, and to scroll through all the excited tweets from schools in Marcus's Twitter timeline. I quickly worked out that if everyone who submitted a result for Pi spent five minutes on their experiments, it adds up to about 26 hours of time spent working with maths. To me, that demonstrated real, engaged impact. Even though it was stressful, I got a real kick out of running Pi Day Live. And there was a sense of excitement amongst the participants, which I think could only come from them being involved in a live event. Certainly the aspect I liked most about it was that sense of being part of something that was happening at a particular moment in time, something that probably couldn't ever be repeated in quite the same way again. To borrow a hackneyed phrase, you had to be there. 